Hello everybody, I'm James Welsh. And I'm Robert Welsh. And this is your weekly reminder that we are not the same person. But we're in the same room. We and are. I'm here. How do we prove we're in the same room? <laughs> 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 like, like, touch my eye, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can't eat those. Yeah, you can't. No, eat those. I'm sorry. All I do is edit videos of you two eating. <laughs> yeah, but, but they're, they're really, they're really all my fucking life. Really it's all I do is eat. <laughs> you, I edit you two they're eating really or sticky. drinking. And, but but you're do, you're point one. You're doing this. Going, <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard? Me and Robert do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's even more annoying. Okay, all right. I won't eat. I'm gonna put them over here. Okay. <laughs> well, they're gone anyway. Yeah, finish them. We like to give James one. <laughs> okay, right, okay, okay, right, okay, right, okay, right. Okay, okay, Robert. So we have some more life advice for you today. Marcus is... No, take him away. Move him off his <laughs> there, desk. There aren't any left. It's like chewing gum. <laughs> I don't understand how he got one. <laughs> Look at you. We have some more life advice for you today. Marcus is quite a bit older than us, as we mentioned before. So he's been through a lot. And we thought it'd be great if he could join us and help us give you advices. I'm 34. Oh god. Oh wow. You're so brave. <laughs> wow. Um we asked you on Instagram to give us your <laughs> important difficult life questions. Yeah. Um we can answer them now. Listen, can we just explain why we're sitting like this first? Oh yeah. Let's true, talk yeah. about what's going <laughs> on. <laughs> if, no, no, let's not. Let's <laughs> so you may have seen already what you think in hun, which is our visual podcast. It's a video. It's a video. Yeah, it's a YouTube video. video. Yeah, yeah. But it's a podcast. So you don't have to watch. We appreciate if you watch, but you can listen. Just listen. Um so you can go ahead and check it out. We'll link it below. It's what you think in hun, where we ask each other, what are you thinking, hun? Yeah. <laughs> what were you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone, but what you think in Hun Podcast is much more professional than this. Yeah. So you should probably watch that instead. Um, I mean, watch us first. <laughs> no, you're right. Watch us first. <laughs> also, we filmed another life advice video in the car. And it was too hot. There was, were was lorries the having sex with each other. Do you remember? Yes. Yeah, so all we, did, all we did was stared at two lorries kissing. We're like, yeah. are they kissing? And we were, <laughs> we're nervous about Robert's parking the whole time. I parked yeah. in the rechargeable spot and I don't have a rechargeable car. And I just thought someone's going to come along and want to charge their car. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'll do a quick montage of that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And we are go. This is your weekly <laughs> reminder that we are not the same person. In the car. In the car. <laughs> <laughs> Life advice that you sent us maybe a month ago now. Do, do they have peppermint tea? I'm not asking for peppermint no, tea. No, fucking asking for peppermint tea. Oh, I'll ask for a cup of hot water. And you can have <laughs> get your own tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to Starbucks to get Marcus a fruit bag. Marcus, do you want a pink coconut? Hi, can I get a, um... No, carry on complaining now, we're filming. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a horse? Where? Where? Watch us. They're gonna watch us They're film! They're watching us. There's two of them as well. Yeah, see, Abel's the art of moving. Okay, there's a mini one, but... Oh, <laughs> cute really together. <laughs> Excuse me. You're cute. Are, are they moving into Miller and Carter? Maybe they're or are they moving to Starbucks? You know, at least I'm not the only person that parked on two parking spaces now. Wait, oh, look, they're going back to back. <gasps> they're gonna oh kiss! My oh my god, they're doing... Um, Sorry, two, two trucks are kissing in front of them. <laughs> they're gonna kiss. Go on. Oh, go they're on. They're gonna kiss exhaust pipes. Yeah. Uh. So, who's ready? Let's just be honest with these people. I'm ready. Let's just give them our life experiences and see what we can do for mm, our friends. Mm. You, you have That's questions? That's you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we had three, thank God, you. God, there must be thousands. <laughs> <laughs> More of that on the... What's, what's the other ones? Can I press this one? Yeah. Oh. I don't like this. Oh, that's actually it? appropriate for waiting for James. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a really toxic aunt, but my mum wants me to keep appeasing her to keep the family intact. There comes a time in your life when you realise you can't choose your family, but you certainly can choose your friends. Mm -hmm. No, Listen, if you true. really have to work that hard, if there's someone who wants you to act a certain way to make them happy, the, the issue is them, not you or anyone else mm. around them. If, the issue isn't even your auntie, it's your mum. Oh. 
If she's like, no, please, just keep just keep dealing with this toxic person. Yeah, keep person. her happy, keep her happy. Keep her, why should you have to keep someone happy? If, yeah. Why would you want to be? I know it's like, oh, family. But if your family are pissing you off and are bad people, then they're pissing you off and they're bad people. And they'll come you know an age mean? where you can just leave. Like, like our age. <laughs> yeah, there's an issue of the, the toxicity there, but you can cut that off. Yeah, I agree that you need to deal with um, the, uh, yeah, your mum forcing you to... Mm. Yeah, be like, listen, yeah. mother, no, and make an excuse every time if you don't want to see it. Oh, I'm working. Yeah, my until arm, it gets to a point where they're like, I suppose it's working. My arm hurts, and then they'll say eventually, Oh, oh so if you're telling me your arm hurts, <laughs> no, I'm thinking of excuses for you, so you could say, Oh, yes. yeah, um, for example, my arm, my arm hurts. hurts. I'm working. I've you got one. Chew, I've got chewing um, gum. Chewing gum is caught in my hair. I'm chewing down a microphone. That doesn't work. Um, <laughs> what else could we God. have? Work? God. <laughs> Not for a toxic that one. No, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't think. My glasses, <laughs> my glasses fell on backwards. Yes, my, the bridge of my nose didn't quite Catch. capture the glass. Catch my glasses, glasses, and I can't come to the family I'm barbecue. Too, I'm too nervous to say anything in case it's not appeasing. You. I don't eat meats. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I don't do meats. I don't do meats. Or you could just sit your mum down and go, "She's horrible." Be like, "Mum, grow up. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm you out. know, mm. yeah." Mm. Let me tell. Uh, let me tell you where I am. Tell your mum to grow up and let us know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know what I want to do for work. I'm thirty. Feel like I should have it figured out. Any advice? I feel like we briefly answered this in our the first one, but mm. there's such a huge difference in how things work between our generation. I feel like literally the generation above yeah. us, where mm. you don't have to be twenty with kids and knowing what your job is and having a full career, mm. and a family, and home mm. by the time you're thirty. I feel like we only just started doing our careers at thirty, at 31, and that's 32. a problem. Yeah, and I feel like times are very, very different, but we're still so close to people. You know, like our not our parents directly, but maybe your parents had that life where they mm. were mm. in a full career, they knew what they wanted to do yeah. or what they should be doing, and they think that's the best route to go. Down. Yeah, but nowadays, like literally within the space of like five years, so many different jobs popped up, so many different career paths. You know, life has completely changed. The world has changed. Yeah, the world's not career focused anymore. It's mm. not you do an apprenticeship, mm. you get into a um, career and that's it and then you retire so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah I don't think there's any reason to worry about that at all yeah and it's more what people think you should be doing as well like if you are comfortable waiting and trying to discover what you want to do do that and don't think oh my god people like what are they thinking I'm 30 and I live at home or whatever because then you'll just end up getting trapped into a career that you really don't mm -hmm. want and then it becomes really hard to get out of mm -hmm. and it's not worth it mm -hmm. it's yeah. very true yeah it's um, I think the key is to figure out what you want to do but not mm. rush, anything. but not, not rush into it. Like, yeah, take your time and you don't you have like. to figure out what you want to do by a certain age. Yes. Yeah. Is what it yeah. is. Yeah. Well, that's but the thing. Like get a part time job, but don't think like, this is what I'm going to do. Mm. Or if you get into retail, don't let them, your man just think like, this is what you should be doing for your career. Unless you, about, you want unless, to go yeah, into retail. Unless you management. want to, because I know retail managers can be quite culty, can't they? Oh, they the worst yeah. sometimes. Like, quit any life you have and come and work for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you help? Are you doing an advert for me by saying Colty? Oh, thanks, oh. James. <laughs> right, just do it now, quick, quick, quick. <laughs> come quickly. on. Oh, who me? I'm gonna just yeah, ten seconds. Go. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've just come, become, come from. I've just come from filming. Thank you so much, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> just, tell me when you're done. I'll check my emails. You planned that out really well. I've just become from. <laughs> <laughs> I've just come from filming my cult video. Look, Marcus has a cult documentary style video that he's worked really, really hard on. Please go and check it yeah. out. It will not be a pinned comment because we've already pinned one. It'll be in the top of the description box. So please go check it out. His he hasn't talked to his family for a year because yeah. of this documentary. I joined an actual cult. And he's crying now. Yeah, I joined. A cult. Did you join a cult? Did you really? Go and watch it. I did. Yeah. Get out my house. I joined a cult from um, the before Christ time. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. If you don't know what's happening, go and check out what's happening. Oh, God, that sorry. way. Was that okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on colleagues bad mouthing each other. What oh. do you do? Listen, let's just get, say, first of all, that is work. Life. That is everywhere. That is you spend all your time together. You're together all the time, which is two of, two of the same things. Um, and. It's going to happen. You're going to piss each other off. Mm. But if it's like things like, oh, she's a, I don't know, batch. Cabbage. Batch. Yeah. Cabbage. Yeah. Batch. Yeah. yeah, she's a cabbage. <laughs> then you need to, then you need to be like, listen, 
um, let's say her name is Sandra Bullock. Listen, Sandra Bullock, we need to have a talk. We're in a professional environment and you're clearly not mature enough to cope with this environment. So either you and me have a fight. <laughs> <laughs> have a get to. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah you let me to. cut your hair really short or we just get on with our lives and ignore each other. Yeah. Or we battle this out. Or we finish the film arrival or whatever it is in space. Film Gravity. Space. Gravity. That's yeah. the worst fucking film. Did you like it? Wait, no, I did. It like made me oh, very really um... good. <laughs> Wait, I did. <laughs> I watched it. I was like, <laughs> that terrible film was yeah. mm. I would say, let them talk about each other. Claustrophobic. Like, really I felt, like, yeah, 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 I, I was really concentrating yeah. on my breathing. Yeah, yeah let them talk about each other because, I mean, what else And you just sit there and go, oh, but don't just let them rant and mm. then um, don't nod either just go oh so you have no give, opinion yeah. and they can't bring you into their fight and if but somebody it's gonna happen. if somebody says what do you think just be like well sometimes that's the, wor- the way the world works and then you're you can't not pick on... your colleagues but you can pick your friends yeah well no i see this differently because generally the these kind of people are the worst workers or the people you don't want to be working with the least sure. productive the ones you get stuck on lunch with the one <laughs> The ones that steal your sandwiches. Um, <laughs> so these, you, you need to find a solution to this because they're the ones that are going to be causing you trouble, not just by their comments, mm. but probably by their work as well. So, I would literally yeah. be like, you know what? I actually really like so and so. So we're actually friends. Can you not talk about them in front of me? Which I've never done. Oh, so like what's gossip. happening? They're talking about someone. Someone's else. talking about bad mouth well, colleagues you, in front of you, them. First of all, you two get your shit together. Yeah, but like Sandra, yeah. like don't bring it mean to it, Sandra Bullock. Yeah. yeah, everyone has their differences in that space. Everyone I have has cult a documentaries space. to watch. We're in the same room. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> we should pass sync to each other like they do in. I don't know how to CGI that. Uh, I mean, we could use our hands. Yeah, oh, touch. here's one, which a lot of my friends have been in this situation. It's actually really common. Um, I'm a year into a degree. Even though I love it, I kind of want to drop out and oh. do nails. Yeah. What do I do? Everyone has backed me so much with uni, and I think they'd all be mad. Oh, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do slash disappointed in that, because a lot of my friends who actually dropped out of university in the second year... When we spoke about it, they're like, I'm really worried I'm going to disappoint my family and they're going to think I've wasted all this money and all this time. Just do it. I know it sounds really awful, but if you've got a clear, which you do, you've got a clear plan of what you want to do. I want to do nails. I want to do this specific course at this specific place. And then maybe like just quickly Google how much a nail tech makes a year. <laughs> so your parents know. There's a lot, a lot of money in beauty. And that's there what is. a lot of people don't understand. Mm-hmm. And I think that people that be, if somebody says to me, I want to do nails and do my, I'll be like, oh, amazing. That's so good. Yeah. I knew lawyers who have become makeup artists. I knew people that dropped out of their careers, full-time careers who were in their late 30s, early 40s, who dropped out and became makeup artists. Mm. And there's absolutely nothing Nothing wrong with that. There's a lot, a lot of money in beauty, and that's where why people worry because they're like, you're not going to make a good money. Then you're not going to yeah. have this perfect. Like, otherwise, why else would they worry? Mm-hmm. You can be educated in stuff like that. Like you don't have to go to a big university for that. Doesn't you, involve figures. Figures. You can figures. be involved. You know, educated in nails. Set up an Instagram. Get loads of followers. Get loads of money. Absolutely. Do whatever the fuck you want it's to do. It's better to do it now than to mm. drag mm. on as well and be mm. like in your third and final year and be exactly. like, now's the time. Exactly. Yeah, from my point of view, if you're already thinking about something else, it's clear your heart's not in that. Yeah, just get out of there. Exactly. Do some nails, take some pictures. When when they're like, why would you do that? I just don't like it. Next. And I feel like if you have a reason, if you have a reason for everything, (laughs) this is my reasoning. This is what, for those people who are truly worried, they're worrying about the plan of your future. So give them a plan. Do a fucking spreadsheet if that's what they need. Do a PowerPoint presentation. Do a PowerPoint presentation. Mm. This is what I want my salon to look like in 20 years' time. Mm. This is how much money I'll make because this is how much I'm going to charge if they want to do that. This is how much I'm going to spend on complimentary gift bars. Short gifts. bread. Gift, short bread. Gift, gift, bar. gift bread. Gift bread. <laughs> short gifts. Cob- <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. Because people just worry because they're worried about you. It's that's the money they're worried and they don't you. know how you're going to make a career. Everyone's always going to have nails. Every, well, we don't know some, how evolution goes. You, you do. I, I do, but do they're a bit sure. crusty at the moment because oh, I yeah, put gels on them. Yeah, so mine need a good clean oh, out. Yeah, you do as well. Mm. Yeah. What is it? Poo? How to not feel so behind other people in life? You're never not going to feel behind people. Every I, day. I'm just going to say that. Every, every day. You're going to compare <laughs> yourself to people constantly yeah. and you're always going to think you're um, not doing enough soon enough as if well. If you're not comparing mm. yourself to other people, you'll be comparing yourself to the future you or the you you want to be. Mm, mm, That's mm, natural. Mm, yeah. Mm. But the, what I have learned, instead of trying to compete, 
um, or be like, oh my God, I should be there. I should be doing this. And people say it all the time, but it's just concentrate on your own shit mm. and make sure you're doing, you're keeping yourself well and you're doing what you need to do to progress however quickly or how slow you want. Slowly, is that a word? Slowly. Slowly or slowly, really, you want. Slowly. Um, you, yeah, slowly. Short, it means shortly. Yeah, it means, <laughs> it means a short amount of time. Yeah. Um, just do you, hun. Mm. It's true, remember, there's still people just going into school, so fuck them, you're further than yeah, they are. fuck those kids, you're, you're yeah. above them. They're just learning yeah. shapes. Also, yeah. yeah, babies don't really have brains yet. And you're so what are they, like, what are they gonna Babies, what do you think? Do? Babies are gonna yeah, You're, do you're more than you. ahead than you think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and genuinely, though, you, you are probably more ahead than you think. Yeah. yeah. Oh that my god, funny. okay, here we go. My sister-in-law's kid is such a pain in the ass. How old? She hits my kids oh, and fashion. screams all the time. Do I tell her something? I don't be rude or disrespectful. She's rude and disrespectful. If any of these had kids and they would hit my kids, I'd be like, your fucking child's hit my I'd kid. Like, Marcus, yeah. what the fuck? Like, or, or go to your child and take... Get oh my battery just went out. Oh, <laughs> Say shit. it to mine quick. <laughs> Go up to them and grab their wrist a little bit too hard, but not too hard. Just a pinch. You can fret them and say the person under your bed will yeah. come out and, and cleave like, you to death. If you hit people, there's a monster under your yeah. bed that's going to eat your face like yeah. that monkey did to that woman, <laughs> and you are not going to be happy. <laughs> I don't know if any <laughs> of this is be better happy. than what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be crying. Here's a toughie. Boyfriend proposed to me. I said yes. Now he's giving me red flags that I didn't see before. What do I do? I love him, but after he proposed, it's really showing how he can't respect me or my choices. That sounds like he thinks he's got you now. Listen, it does. And just because you're engaged, you're, it's just a word and a ring. There's there's no contractual... But you, you haven't... although people think that's a progression in your relationship nothing has changed other than you are engaged it's fine to break off an engagement or prolong an engagement don't set a date for a wedding stuff. yet there's exactly. no reason why you can't go to counseling if you together. want to fix stuff if you want to fix it yeah the the key word is red flags for mm. me it's not like these are uh, mm. yellow flags mm. and workable issues if you're saying the word psychologically red flags that's when things are called off yeah yeah mm. Yeah, I'd be like, this isn't working now. That's a good reason. And you can even sit down if they're that kind of person. Actually, it doesn't matter if they're that kind of person. You're that kind of person. Mm. Where you can sit down and be like, listen, literally what you just said to us, I feel like since you propose, I've noticed this about you. Explain that to me. Yeah, like, why is this happening? And if like, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, then that's not a real answer. And you're like, okay, you can't explain to to me why your behavior has changed so drastically. You're unaware of yourself. I don't think we should go further with this. If they're your fiancé and they want to be your husband, wife, whoever, and they don't open up to you when you say there's an issue, and they then put the blame on you Mm, fully, mm. then they're not going to be the type of person Mm. to see it your way at all or want to work on something I personally feel. Exactly. Sure. Sure. Um, listen. Not yet. I was going to, though. Know, I feel like it'd be nice to see some stale. We'll do it in a day. We'll Look at the sun. Look at the chemtrails. Yes. yes. <laughs> listen, I want a life partner, and yet why I don't want to marry my boyfriend. You don't have to do that. Like, me and my partner, like, we want to be together forever, but the only reason we'd get married is for legal reasons. I was going to say, people put so much pressure on marriage. Marriage is, is going to be your own thing. And like you said, it doesn't have to be big. If you want to be with someone for life, and you want them to, you know, have your money when you die, or be able to come and see you in a room, as you die, <laughs> then Christ. get married because it's it's <laughs> like, but it, it just has to be a certificate. It doesn't have to. You don't have to have a huge wedding. Yeah. No pressure. You don't have to change your name. You don't have to do anything like that. Mm. Again, it's just a word. It's just a legally binding contract. Yeah. The but idea again, you like can a, break if yeah. you need to. It's no yeah. big deal. But do you know what? Do you not want to get married because you want an out? Maybe if you want it, not because mm. anything's wrong. Mm. But are you thinking, oh, what if I don't feel like this in two years, five years time? Divorce. Divorce. No, no. It's <laughs> so expensive. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have to pay for that. You do? You have to pay to get divorced. You have to pay, for you have to pay because you ever break up with someone. Yeah. Mm. So think about it. If you think, oh, do I, I might want it out of this relationship eventually, think why. But if mm. it's, you really want to be with them for the rest of your life, but you just don't want the show and the faff that is mm. a wedding, mm. then just go to registry office and sign a Thing, right? Don't yeah. rule stuff out either. You might yeah. change your mind one you day. You might watch like a Sandra Bullock film and really want a wedding. You might yeah. watch Gravity and think, oh, I'd love to. 
Yeah, I would love to. I have want space. to feel suffocated and claustrophobic in a hat. I'm a 32 year old woman. Obviously, James's own one. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a 32 year old mum um, who's recently become attracted to a woman, and I'm afraid to, of what people will say. Mm. You'll be surprised how people just get used to stuff. Yeah. This is a mum. Yeah. Here's the deal. The only people that you should worry about caring really are your children and you are their parent. So you're the kind of person who can be like, listen, this is how people love people sometimes. That's just how it is. Um, I don't know how else to go. Where to yeah, go? Just think, that's the most yeah, important thing. Is that won't change how good a parent you are. Mm. So I think as long as your best interest is in how that other person, how that lady is going to treat your children mm, yeah, and exactly, treat you, yeah. then I think that's... Obviously, it's difficult to be like, and now I'm a lesbian, but you, you don't even have to put a label on it. It doesn't mm. have to be that. But mm. I do get that you, it's going to be a bit unco- uncomfortable, maybe, for other people. Yeah. Um, but just get it, get it, get it over and done with. Get over do and it. done with. Yeah, yeah. Get it done with. Listen, if people can't, it, I know we're pretty much in throughout this whole thing, but like, you know what? No one, no one's important. <laughs> but if people can't accept you, they are not the people that you need in your life. And listen, you don't even need to be accepted. That's not a thing. It's like, oh, I'm so lucky you accept me. It's like, if they if they don't, that's their problem, not yeah. yours. Not yeah. yours. The other thing is when you sort of sit down and say to people, it's not this big thing anymore because mm, mm. I mean, really, we all know these days sexuality is mm. way more of mm-hmm. a <laughs> big cloud. Such a bit space. It's not a situation. Yeah. I am gay now. That's mm, you know, I am yeah. now and gay. Yeah, I am now <laughs> and I am gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just let's say I've got these feelings. Not sure what they are. Mm. It's, you know, it's I feel like, comfortable I'm gonna, in I'm this. Gonna see to I'm going to yeah. see to them. And yeah. um yeah, and do what's best for you in that one, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. yeah. And don't let people like, oh, like what in front of your kids? Yeah. Just yeah. Tell, tell them Or go like, what are you buy now or something like that? <laughs> just, yeah. That's just what's happening for you there. Yeah. yeah. Just explore what you want to explore and what you feel comfortable with and um yeah. like, listen, Sandra Bullock. Let's finish on this more difficult question, but I think it's an important way. Mm-hmm. Um how to know the difference between taking a break for mental health versus just wasting time. Hmm. Hmm. I think like it gets to a point where you mentally can't do a yeah. task. Yeah. I mean, you're like, right, this is now. Or your mind's not fully in on the task. Or, you know, you, there's a difference between like feeling bored about something and being like, I actually can't concentrate. Feeling, on this, can't yeah, feeling bored. It's like, oh, I can't really can't be bothered to do this. Yeah, like I'd rather go whereas, watch Nick yeah, Jr. Whereas there's some times when I know that like, say for example, on YouTube, where I'm just like, you know what, I need a week off because nothing I'm doing is right mm-hmm. in my eyes. Nothing feels like I'm quite hitting it. Mm-hmm. And you kind of get that feeling. It's like, no, it's it's actually me. I, I need some time to think. You're in your head a bit mm, mm. right and i'm so bored the thing is with my stuff is i can feel bored mm. my brain will give me that feeling yeah and that's the way my brain processes i'm a bit burnt out yeah mm. so yeah there's a bit of a blurred line for me between those two things mm, mm. and that's why it's quite hard when i'm just taking a break and sitting there being lazy to distinguish what's actually happening yeah mm. whether i am just being lazy through boredom or through creative blocks yeah, which yeah. are very easy to have in your life um, whatever you do or whether I'm just feeling mentally mm-hmm. drained mm-hmm. Yeah. or I'm just doing nothing and being a lazy shit yeah. I think one distinction for me is if like, I'm in front of my computer and I can't for some reason focus on this work but I'll start like tidying my room yeah. Yeah. then I'm okay, like yeah. I'm not bored because mm. I'm not looking for something to do I've got stuff to do mm. but I'm choosing one task after the o- over the other because not because I prefer it but because I can't yeah. I just can't I know I'm being lazy right when I'm sitting down I'm editing a video but I keep looking at my phone mm. I, d- I don't have in my mind to do anything else I'm, not, I'm just sitting there like I just keep looking at my phone and I know I have enough time to complete this task mm. if I just got on with it yeah. but instead I'm just pr- procrastinating procrast- going on YouTube on your going on YouTube, computer, YouTube then your phone then yeah. on your laptop and yeah. suddenly you're on TikTok and it's like I don't remember when yeah <laughs> when I, I did this, this. But yeah. I think you know. I think like I don't know. I, I'm in a position where I'm finding it very hard to distinguish how I'm feeling all the time. Mm. And um, I think when even if you're not doing anything, regardless of what it's why you've stopped working. Yeah. I think just because of how the world is, you feel bad for not doing yeah. anything in general. Yeah, that's it. There's always that guilt, isn't there, associated mm. with having the day off or taking time. Yeah, when, when you've got when you've got deadlines to mm. make. When wind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. That was sort of um, 
it's a it's always an ongoing process i'm still looking yeah. for an answer so it's not really very good advice it's just i think there's definitely know yourself so mm. like you're saying you, and you're saying you get that brain fog yeah you can mm. tell what it is yeah you can tell when actually you're burnt out because you're unable to do the tasks or then move on to something equally yeah. productive yeah. in your life mm. but yeah it's hard isn't it yeah it's a tough one mm. do you want to outro us yeah i can do what do you normally say we're like oh my god like yeah. oh oh my god that was so crazy yeah, yeah. Like, we just had the oh, craziest time just, yeah. that, i can't believe and then what's like your outro bit bye, you bye. Oh, no i'll do your socials okay <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i can't believe. i can't believe we just had the craziest, craziest time. hour time bye. thank you for watching the welsh twins one here and another one here uh, with a special guest, me, Marcus Welsh. Please go over to my channel and watch it. He um, made his channel for you, <laughs> and you have a responsibility to go and watch it. Look, if I'm any of our so channels hard. are failing, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I've only been able to buy, buy myself one car <laughs> this month. <laughs> this month. <laughs> it's really sad. No, look. Well, I'm nearly at 20,000K. Are, are you? you? Yes. I'm at 19 and a half just under. Which is really delicious because it means I can start making the documentaries even better, putting a bit mm. more of the money I'm getting into mm. them, into, like you'll be seeing mm. in the next uh, few documentaries like I do. Like we do with these incredible backgrounds. For example, don't look too close. Yeah, don't look at the seams yeah. breaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so thanks for joining us all. Um, oh my God, that's so crazy. We've had the craziest time. Uh, <laughs> you can follow Robert. He is at Robert Welsh MUA on Instagram? No. TikTok? Oh, no. Twitter? No, TikTok. TikTok. And he's also Robert Welsh on YouTube. Find him here. On my right. You forgot to do Instagram. Robert WLSH. Oh, I forgot that one. On my right. James S. Stephen Welsh yes. on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and James Welsh here on YouTube. James does skincare. He's not a dermatologist, but he likes it. Robert. He's not a makeup artist. No, I like, am. <laughs> he loves it. There's no proof he's a makeup artist. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. no one's ever seen your portfolio online. Do you have a certificate? Of, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I do have one. It says you you attended a, ca a makeup camp. Lego Land. <laughs> Lego Land Makeup School. <laughs> uh, 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 Double Clones Podcast. What are you thinking, hun? There's too much, actually. Do your one, hun. All right. Marcus Welsh on YouTube at Hello Marcus Welsh on Instagram. Who's that? You? That's me. Get, um, get Marcus to 20k. Yeah, get me to 20k. If it's not and then, by the time. Um, I don't know. We'll do something for 20k. We'll okay. Oh, right I'm. Here. I do think I'm busy actually then. On that day. I'll do something with the head you made. Yes, yeah. pancake. Pancake. <laughs> yeah. Pancake beef. Pinata. What was it? No, it Johnson, wasn't pinata. It was pancake beef. Johnson. Pancake Johnson. beef Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll do something with that. And listen, yes, do go and find What are you thinking, hun? Our uh, bi weekly visual podcast. podcast. <laughs> it's just another YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Are you sick of us? Yeah, is it too much? Yeah. Because it's your fault. If, okay, the order... <laughs> if this doesn't... Yeah, actually, work, it's your fault. Your YouTube goes first. My YouTube goes if first. If it's too much, we'll get rid of that one first. I'll get rid of that one because... Then yours, James. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, I've been doing it longer. That's true. Yours first. That can be got rid of first. Yeah, because you've had yeah, your... Yeah, because I've had my chance. Yeah. Then yours. And then we'll just keep... Stop your podcast for Double Clans. I don't think people are listening to that anyway. No, like, I think we have a couple of listeners. But that's just for guests. If you've got a guest on, then you'll get free And then I listen to previews, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then one of them's mine, because I have to. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. All right. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>We need to do something for the outro bit, so... That's the longest outro I think we've <laughs> ever done. <laughs> but the bit that comes on... That, I'll just use me saying I mean, this. I think this is fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, is this a lot good? of time. <laughs>